There are other ways to start conversations with people other than frisking them. Concerns tonight about a new patrol plan from Portland police. They may start asking people if they can pat them down while on patrol. Welcome everyone to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Kelly Day. Jeff Gianola is off tonight. Tim Becker is going beyond the headlines now with more about these concerns and these new patrols. Tim? Yeah, Kelly, the new patrols will be starting, well, they actually have just started in areas they call neighborhood involvement locations, hot spots that the police want to try and cool down. They'll pull over in their cars, get out, take a 15-minute walk, sometimes talk with some of the folks that they bump into, and then may or may not ask for permission to pat down that person for safety reasons if they feel so compelled before they continue the conversation. And Portland police want you to know that this is nothing like New York City's controversial stop and frisk policy. New York's stop and frisk program has raised concerns over racial profiling, but police here are quick to separate their new program from that one. We're really focusing on more as again that community interaction piece, and we need it to occur as, as safely as possible. Sergeant Greg Stewart is developing much of the policy for Portland's new community policing program. One that'll get cops out of their cars and back on the street, face to face with citizens, 15 minutes at a time. The officers presence can suppress criminal activity for up to two hours after they leave if they spend about 15 minutes in these locations. Um, the key is, is actually being highly visible. He says if they're in an area with gang activity or high crime, officers may ask if they can pat down someone before continuing a conversation. To me, the question is, is it the most effective way to build bridges? The ACLU's David Fedanke says police do need to gain community trust, but he questions the pat down even if consensual. I just worry that asking people if you can f pat them down is not the best way to start that conversation to build trust. But police think it'll work, improve interaction with community, and help lower crime. It's not like a system where people are going to be pushed to go out and pat everybody down or, 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 or something like that. This kind of talk with us, but we'd just like to search your first, is that okay? Attitude may be pushing them farther away rather than bringing them in. Time will tell what the case ends up being. This is just a pilot program, so it's happening in just a few areas around Portland, and they are taking it slow now because of that. They do plan to, and hopefully plan to, uh, eventually roll this thing out to all the precincts. As for the ACLU, well, they just tell me they will be watching the whole thing closely. Reporting live in Southwest Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Tim, thank you. And you can read much more about that patrol plan in the Portland Tribune. Pick up a copy tomorrow or check it out online.